Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. It's great to stock your pantry with all sorts of things, but if you don't know what to do with any of those things, it doesn't do you much good. It's not like you're gonna go into your pantry and do a cinnamon challenge with flour. Just grab a big handful of flour and throw it in your face. It won't be a great experience. One type of grain that I oftentimes suggest people keep in their pantry because it has a lot of protein in it is quinoa. And this is a tub of quinoa right here. I've oftentimes uh, seen quinoa referred to as the super grain of the future for marketing purposes, it's just another grain. But it's a decent grain because it has a lot of fiber in it and it has a lot of protein in it. Uh, one way of cooking up quinoa is just the way that you would rice. Take uh, you know, half a cup of quinoa, add a whole cup of water in it, put a little bit of salt or whatever you, else you might like to do if you're cooking rice, and there you go. But another way of doing it is to create a kind of breakfast treatment of it where you do the same thing. You take like a half a cup of quinoa and you mix in, instead of uh, water, you put in a cup of milk. And then on top of that, you can add sugar and cinnamon, maybe some ginger, and you have yourself kind of like an oatmeal concoction. It has a completely different kind of uh, flavor matrix. I'm working with that this morning. I haven't actually made it in a while, and when I decided to make it this morning, I was like, hey, this is something I should share with you guys. There's a couple things that I'm doing a little bit uniquely about it. Uh, the ingredients, like I said, are quinoa, cinnamon and ginger. I've got cinnamon and ginger back on my spice shelf over here. For the milk, I'm using uh, just some Tetra Pak soy milk. I haven't been grocery shopping in, I, I don't, it's over a month at this point. I've just been kind of staying out of the fray. It's like middle of cold and flu and COVID season. And I'm like, you know, why, why mess with any of that? So we've just been back here. So this is the way we're doing our milk because this stuff lasts forever. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that everyone is going to have this exact same experience as I have, but uh, I have drank Tetra Pak soy milks in the past uh, that have been s eight years old. Yeah, eight, <laughs> eight year old uh, soy milk. And, uh, yeah, and by that, I mean eight years past expiration date. And it was fine. I'm not going to guarantee that you're always going to have the same thing, but this stuff lasts a long time. If you see that it's like, oh, I'm a week past expiration, you're fine. Uh, so we're using that, and uh, for the sugar, I'm using something that's kind of a little weird. It's sugar, but it is maple sugar. These chunks of crystallized sugar here. Uh, the reason that I have these is because I went to like some sort of specialty, like you know, boutiquey kind of organic store, and was like, I want your crystallized uh, maple su sugar chunks in, in that exact voice. Uh, where these came from was actually um, from the bottom of a maple syrup uh, jug. I had been using it for a while. You can keep maple syrup it, once you open it. You got to keep it in the refrigerator, but once it's in the refrigerator, it can stay there for a long time without going bad. Uh, and, but sometimes you get like a lot of the sugar will uh, precipitate out of it and crystallize on the bottom. And it's not like you're gonna put that on your pancakes. So what I, I do is I, I knock all that stuff out. I uh, kind of rinse it off a little bit and then dry it. And I get these things and they're great for if you are making anything where you can just throw like a chunk of sweetness in it like oatmeal or quinoa. So that's it. I hope you find that recipe interesting and intriguing. Try it out. You can also do it with all sorts of other grains. You know, just because a grain is normally something you'd put in uh, with water and salt to cook it, doesn't mean you can also uh, you can't also try it with milk and some sugar and make kind of like a breakfast thing. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.